All right, what's going on everyone? It's Yami here, and we have to talk about a few things in the market. Let me just get right into it here. So right now, this is the S&P 500 uh, ETF SPY. And as you can see, we do have a reversal coming out. This was a huge bull market for about a month, but now we are finally reaching that top here and reversing to the downside. Uh, so what should you do? How should you prepare? Really easy. Uh, if you already have stocks uh, right now, like you already own some stocks, I would take some off the top, hedge it a little bit, take, you know, take your profits while you can, because downsides are coming. Now, of course, this depends on which stocks you're in and that kind of thing. But for the most part, this market is going to be coming, uh, correcting downward. So just be ready for it. Uh, really easy. What my position is, is to uh, do nothing for the next couple of days, just to see where it's going. Maybe it's going to correct hard tomorrow. Um, and we'll see. Or if not, maybe it bounces back, uh, but the best thing is just to be ready for it. Uh, this happens all the time. Maybe you're a new investor and you're scared of these kind of crashes to the downside, that kind of thing. Don't worry. Like historically speaking, this always happens and it always recovers. So just be careful with it. Uh, don't spend here at the top. Just wait for those crashes at the bottom and you'll be okay. I personally get excited every time I see uh, that kind of crash to the downside because that means I can finally buy things. I don't like buying things on the way up. Like I love buying at discounts at the bottom here and there just has not been a lot of deals lately. I don't know if you guys seen my past videos. If you haven't, please check them out um, and you'll see like there's just not that many deals out there. But if the market comes down, crashing down a little bit, well, all of a sudden there's a ton of discounts. Also, uh, I had some questions in the earlier videos that this is Weeble. This software is Weeble. Uh, if you want to get two free stocks, go down below in the description and download it and do the referral code so that I get a little bit of money too. Um, so yeah, this is the S&P 500. Just be careful with it. I think this next week is going to be pretty wild. There's a decent amount of catalysts. Uh, one of them was the new uh, Fed chair uh, nomination. Uh, was, uh, that was kind of today and you see it kind of went down about half a percent. Um, but we do have the infrastructure bill coming in um, on the 15th, so next week. And then we have a couple other catalysts that we got to be aware of, uh, like the debt ceiling next month, that kind of thing. So I think fears are growing back. And I think this week we're definitely going to feel uh, a momentum to the downside. So just be careful with it. Again, don't fret. Like Just be prepared for it and uh, buy those discounts on the low. Uh, so that's spy. I also really want to talk about Tesla here. Uh, you can see that that bull run is finally over. Uh, it is going way to the downside. It went down 12% today, which is wild um, because I don't think Elon has sold his Tesla shares yet. I don't believe so. It's not a public record, so I don't think he's done it yet. So if this is just retail investors and maybe some institutions getting out, that is terrifying because we haven't even seen what when t Elon finally pulls out, like what that's going to look like to the stock. So I, I don't think this is done yet. I think it's going to continue going down just a little bit more in the next coming days. I plan to buy in fully, uh, you know, sub sub a thousand. Uh, I don't know when that is. Hopefully, maybe it hits this um, SMA line, maybe around like 900, 950. That'd be great, you know, in an ideal situation. If it just crashed down, excuse me, if it crashed down tomorrow here and then recovered, that'd be wonderful. But, you know, not everything's idyllic. So just be prepared for it. Awesome. But that's Tesla. Uh, if you haven't gotten your profits out of there yet, like, and you still have some, take some. I think this is definitely going to drop a little bit low. Um, is there anything else to talk about? And talk about Tesla and Spy. Uh, oh, also, there are some deals. There are some that I'm, I'm spotting here. So Snapchat is one of them. Uh, it is recovering just a little bit, finally crossed that EMA line. So just be careful with it. I'm not in it yet, but I do. I am watching it closely. Uh, if it just goes back down and gets rejected, that's one thing. But if it doesn't and goes back down this line and then hits that recovery, well, then this thing is huge potential. Uh, you can see right now, like, let's say it does that exactly what I say, like it hits back down to this line and goes back to the... Um, SMA, that's almost 30%, right? 28% uh, recovery, that'd be amazing. So it's definitely on my list. I'm not in it yet, but I am looking at it. This one, and as well as Pinterest, uh, P-I-N-S, uh, also have the same thing going on. Huge downfall uh, because of that PayPal rumor that wasn't true, uh, but now it's recovering slowly. And again, uh, if this thing recovers back to uh, previous highs, over 30%, right around 36% recovery. I mean, that'd be incredible if we got there, but not everything has to happen. So just make sure you're spotting these and put them on a on a watch list, that kind of thing. Create alerts, like if this goes above the SMA, I want to know about it, so you can just easily create alert, and then there you go, you'll, you'll see it. 
Um, but yeah, that's really it. Uh, above all else, guys, uh, remember to stay frugal out there and don't be scared of these market crashes. Not a huge deal. Just make sure you're ready. Have some cash prepared for those dips and on the next. All right, have a good one, guys.